Hey guys, today I wanted to show you what I've been working on for the past week or so. Uh, we've had a number of clients that were asking if we could help develop a widget to help uh, walk their users through an incident process, but in more of a uh, wizard-like process. So with that, we put this widget together. Um, and what's really cool about it is it is purely just a wrapper around uh, the catalog item widget. So we haven't cloned anything and we're just leveraging all of the catalog and GForm APIs to interact with the form. So with that, we start here on this screen where we're asking the user to specify what kind of an issue they're experiencing. So I will go ahead and select something is broken. So what's really cool about how we've developed this widget is we're just leveraging whatever you have defined on the catalog item or record producer. So here on the left hand side, you can see the different sections that were set up. And then here on the right hand side, you can see the different variables that have been defined in those sections. And because this is just standard variables, you can also have embedded widgets, you can have multiple columns, and you can have anything you want. So pretty cool. So as an example here, I have a widget that I created that displays the different assets from the ALM asset table. Uh, so the user can pick um, what, what device they're having an issue with. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the MacBook Pro here and we'll hit next. Um, and then as an example, we have here some different issue types. So perhaps I'm having a hard time powering up my MacBook. So we'll say my MacBook is not turning on. And then here we're just leveraging the out of box incident deflection, which displays some knowledge articles. So you can click on these and take a look at what the article says. But let's say that this is not addressing my issue. I can hit next. And then here for the last screen, I wrote a quick widget that allows drag and drop attachments, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so let me drag something in here real quick. And this is, again, just leveraging the exact same APIs that come with the catalog item. So no widget, um, no cloned widgets here. And then what's uh, down here, we are, since this is just a wrapper around the catalog item, we're able to have all the standard functionality. So you can add it to cart, you can have the wishlist feature, um, and you can also have the add to cart or submit button, uh, depending on how you've configured the catalog item. And you can also jump back to any previous section that you're on. And if I take a required field and wipe it out and then try to proceed, it is going to prevent me from doing so until you enter something here. So that's it. That's the wizard widget that we've developed. If you have any questions, definitely reach out and uh, we'll love to get back to you. Hope you're having a good day. Bye.